Hello everyone, fellow subscribers. This here is Rob, aka Toronto Collector. Today's date is uh, December 25th, Christmas Day, 2019. And a Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. For those of you who don't celebrate Christmas but celebrate some other holiday right now, Happy Holidays! This here is a short video of the, the Funko products that Marie and I gifted each other. I said in a previous video that I was not going to buy myself any Funkos during December. Uh, I was going to only buy a Funko related product for Maria and so far I stuck to it up to Christmas and I have stuck to it. So Marie and I each bought each other uh, Funko related products there for Christmas and that's what uh, this video here is all about. She wanted me to make this short video to show you the viewers and the subscribers what we got for each other. So without further ado I wanted to get Maria a uh, two um, Funko Pop figures to finish off one of her lines, uh, one of her Funko lines. Unfortunately, it wasn't in my budget yet, so instead of getting her two figures I wanted to get her, I got her one to start off a new line for her, Harlequin. She loves the Harlequin character, not the animated version, but the, real, the version which is more like from the movie of Suicide Squad. And this here is... Uh, a Harley Quinn here from the uh, EB Games right here. EB Games exclusive sticker right there. EB Games is the Canadian equivalent to the store GameStop, which you have in the U.S. and maybe or elsewhere. But here in Canada, e uh, GameStop is called EB Games. Notice how in this Funko here, Harley Quinn has a mount in her hand there. So this is pretty close to how she looked in the movie. And this is a version that Maria likes, and she doesn't have this one yet. So... I got this one for for now that until I can get her the other two to finish off her other line. So I got her this for Christmas there, which she really appreciated. When I went to shop for Maria for other uh, Christmas items, I was in a store and I saw a uh, Funko Pop that I really wanted for my Game of Thrones collection, but I held up by there to see if I would get for Christmas there, and I did. Maria was lucky enough to get, uh, um, kind enough to get me for, for Christmas. Theon Greyjoy with his flaming arrow. Now, for those of you who have seen all of A Game of Thrones, all seasons, including season 8, you know all about what this flaming arrow represents. So, I thought this was a very cool pop. This is but the only time that I really enjoyed seeing Theon there throughout the whole entire series. When he used this flaming arrow there to defend, to defend Bran against the Night King. And I think right now it's fair to say that without with the issue of disclaimer alert. So or spoiler alert rather. So this here is Theon with his flaming arrow there. And I have to get a few more characters from this, this particular line. But I will be doing it very soon. I, I already have I already have some of them, but not all of them. So I have to continue work on that. But I still get Game of Thrones single pop in a pop of the box. monthly pop of the box. I will be increasing that come January. Anyways, she gave me this for Christmas Day, which is very nice. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little harsh right now, but uh, me being a bus driver, I'm, we still get up at 4 a.m. So for my, I'm used to getting up at 4 a.m. for my job. And now it's uh, almost noon there, so I really need to go take a nap, you know, because we get up early. And we even, we're so eager to open Christmas presents today there that we open up even before sunrise. So I was going to film us opening the Christmas gifts there, but it was just too dark to film it, so... We just couldn't wait. We're almost like a couple teenagers and we just couldn't wait. Anyways, there are three more Funko related products there that I wanted to uh, ask for for Christmas there. Two of them were movie moments and one of them was a ride. One of the movie moments, uh, well actually one of the, the ride I wanted to get was from Toy Story OG, Toy Story 1, which was uh, Woody riding RC. The second one was a movie moment there from Game of Thrones Season 8, Danny and Jor fighting the Whites with their swords. If, as I said before, if you've seen all the season, uh, seasons of Game of Thrones, including Season 8, you'll know what I'm talking about. Well, that scene in which Jorah and Nanny are fighting the Whites with their swords, they made a movie moment out of that, which, which, we, which we have seen here. I have seen here in Toronto, there, so I'm sure it's available where you are. And I think it's a great, great movie moment, outside of the fact of how the Night King was finally stopped. 
but I think that's a great movie moment of Jorah and uh, and and um, and Danny together. I thought that was a great movie moment there. Those, so those are t uh, and and the uh, second movie moment that I asked for was from the Ghostbusters banquet hall scene in which they first captured captured Slimer. The two of them captured the Slimer there. That they, they, they made a movie moment out of that one there. The two of them were using their weapons to capture Slimer, and, and uh, we have that here. We had that movie moment here in Toronto. So that's the second movie moment I asked for, <clears throat> and uh, so that was three, two movie moments and one ride that I asked for for Christmas there. So Maria was very kind enough to give me the movie moment here from the Ghostbusters here, which he captured Slimer there. The two of them captured Slimer. This is from the first Ghostbusters capturing Slimer right there. She was very, she was very kind to give me this for Christmas there from the original Ghostbusters one. The two of them capture slime right there. So the only other Ghostbusters one I now I need for my collection here is Peter Vekman Chase. And the Chase version of Peter Vekman is him being slimed by Slimer. And then my Ghostbusters line is complete. The only the other um, big pop Funko Pop that, that you gave me there was the ride from Toy Story OG. Toy Story One which was um, Woody riding RC. I thought this was an excellent scene there. I know we're now we've, we've now probably all familiar with Toy Story 4, but I thought this was a great scene in which she's riding RC. And this was very convenient for her to pick up there for me there, so it was very nice for her to get for me there. So th these are the Funko products that we give each other for Christmas. Toy Story. Ghostbusters, then Harlequin, and Game of Thrones. Those are the four Funko related products we gave each other for Christmas. So I will be getting into buy more uh, Funko Pops for myself come January, getting back and get into more get into mystery boxes. I tried to get one before, but it fell through. So I will be getting into some more, and I will be in the future making more exciting videos. Some of my videos before, previously have been pretty mundane and boring. Probably why I haven't got many subscribers. So I will be making more exciting videos or making exciting videos for your entertainment come in the future. So please do me a favor here and down on, on my left down there, please do down below hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon there so you're notified of when I release my new exciting upcoming videos. And if you like it, my videos, please do give me a thumbs up. If you feel the need to give me a thumbs down, please be respectful enough to let me know in the comments why you give me a thumbs down. Also, in this video here, I am, going to be, I am myself going to be filming and I challenge other Funko Pop collectors to do this with their collections. I know many of you out there have very big Funko Pop collections, a lot bigger than mine. So, the challenge to each and every one of you is this. Before the year ends, I am going to be pulling out of my collection my top 10 favorite Funko Pops. Starting from number 10 and working my way down. Working my way down to number 1. My number 1 favorite Funko Pop out of my collection. Not the one you want to buy you or you wish you had. But your top 10 favorite Funko Pops from your own, from your very own collection. If you could bring them out and show, show us on camera your favorite top 10 Funkos, I think it will make for very entertaining videos. I am I'm going to be filming that for myself there and probably releasing the video before the new year because I've already made a list of my top 10 Funkos for my own collection. All I'm going to do is pull them out of my collection and film them for your entertainment there. So I challenge all Funko Pop uh, collectors out there who are watching me right now, let's see your top 10. Funko Pops from your collection. Pull them out of your collection, film them, and see if you can release your video before the new year. Today is December 25th, Christmas Day. There is a week left before the new year, so it gives us all a week to film our top 10 videos and get them onto YouTube for all of our entertainment. That's the challenge for you all. Film, a, film, a, film your top 10 favorite videos from your own collection and post it to YouTube. It should, it should be see it should be fun to see who likes what and see how many of us have similar tastes to what we love. I mean, obviously, 
I'm a Game of Thrones fan. Uh, I'm also I am also a Harlequin fan, although I don't have any Harlequin myself. But I am a fan of Harlequin. There, I'm also a fan of Ghostbusters, a fan of Toy Story, a fan of many movies and many TV shows. So I have very vast wide tastes. If you'd like to see what else I like, please do on, on my channel here. Do do check out some of my other videos, in which I have unveiled not only store bots but also mailings as well. And they're available on my channel. So. This is here is Toronto Collector wishing you all a very Merry Christmas. I hope Santa was good to each and every one of you. And for those of you who don't celebrate Christmas, but, but Christmas, but do celebrate a holiday. Happy holidays to each and every one of you there. I'll be f doing more filming there next week. So for, so for now, this is Toronto Collector saying you all have a great day. Great day. Take care.